Hey guys, what's up? This is Linus here from iOS Jailbreak Zone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom Zeppelin logos for your iDevice. Now, um, I actually got this request from one of my subscribers saying that can you please make a video on how to, how to create custom Zeppelin logos, so I'm actually making that video right now. I actually wanted to make this video a week or two later, but since I got that request from one of my subscribers and he's really nice, he actually contributed to my channel by um, helping me with some comments, so I'm actually gonna be making a video showing you how to do that. So, as you can see, I've got this custom Zeppelin logo that I created, and it says iOS JVC. Hope you guys can see as well as I can. Um, so I actually made a few few of these, and this is the first one, and this is my favorite, and the other one is just iOS JVC inside of an iPhone 5, if you can see. So yeah, so um, a few things that you're going to need to do this is, first of all, you need to download Zeppelin from Cydia. It's free in the Big Boss repo, so no worries, just go grab it. And another thing on your PC is either Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you prefer. Photoshop, you have to buy it, or you can also download it from the web for free. But um, you can also get GIMP for free from the from the developer so I'd suggest getting GIMP if you if you're not gonna be buying Photoshop so yeah so once you have that or well, another thing you will need is an um, SSH client and you also need to open SSH into your device now if you don't know how to do that then you can go ahead and cl click on the link right there and you can go ahead and watch my video on how to do that so once you have all of these stuff all you have to do is open up your photo editing software go into um, I'm using Photoshop so go into file new and create an image with um y you can make one 40 by 40 but i'm just making one 100 by 40 because i actually want to make a subscribe button for a zeppelin logo so i'm just you can make your um picture anything from 40 by 40 to 100 by 40 to 50 by 100 by 50 and anything like that whatever you like but make sure that it fits inside your status bar and to to make sure it fits, um, I'd suggest making what making a picture 40 by 40. So let's get started. I'm just gonna make mine 100 by 40 for now. Click OK. All you have to do is place that image in Photoshop. Inside of that, yep. Tick. Now save as. And save it as black at 2x. And make sure you save it as a PNG file, or else it won't it won't work. So once you save it as that. Click OK, just exit out of your photo editing software, go into where you, wherever you saved it, create a new folder, and I'm just going to call mine subscribe button, you can call yours whatever you like, yep, and inside of that, actually put the, put the picture that we made, and you can delete anything else that you got from the web, and once you have that inside of that folder, you want to copy, and paste it twice, yep. And if you have a Retina device, which is an iPod Touch 4G, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, and um, I, I don't know about the iPads, iPad 3, and then, you, then you're going to need to save it as black at 2x, the first picture. And if you have a non-Retina device like an iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1, iPod Touch 2G, 3G, whatever, then you're going to need to save it as black.png. So once you have pasted these twice, all you need to do is rename one of these to silver at 2x and the other one you want to rename to etched at 2x. Now if you have a non-retina device all you need to do is save it as black black.png etched.png silver.png you don't need the at 2x at all. So once you have done that all you need to do is go into your SSH client I'm just gonna put my IP address in Again, if you watch my video on how to SSH, you'll know what to do. But I'm just gonna fill this up real quick. And yeah. And your password is, your username is root, and your password is alpine by default. If you really can't hear me in the other video. But I guess you can. So you need to make sure that um, your device is turned on. And just wait for it to connect. For some reason, it took a long time. It usually doesn't. And just go back to the root. Yep, and find library. Inside of that, scroll down till you find Zeppelin. 
and here you can see all of these all of these that um that you downloaded from Cydia and now you want to go back to wherever you saved that folder and just drag it into your Zeppelin folder click on copy and once it is copy get out of your SSH client get out of everything you can actually delete that subscribe thing from your computer and just go back to your iDevice all you need to do is go into settings Zeppelin yep team and now to find the one that I just made and as you can see subscribe button right there yep and I didn't even have to respring so that's a really good thing and as you can see I just made another Zeppelin logo and you can actually upload yours to Cydia if you know how to do that I actually won't because um, I just don't want to upload to Cydia it's a complicated process but if you actually like this video please give this video a thumbs up it really helps me a lot and you can also subscribe to me by clicking the link right here and so then you'll be notified every time I upload videos like this or videos of jailbreaks, um, Cydia reviews, Cydia tweak, tweaks, Cydia tutorials, anything like that. Anything about jailbreaking you can ask me and also you can request me on new videos so I can make videos like this. And you can also go ahead and visit me on Facebook, add me there, visit my Facebook page, like me visit my blog or follow me on Twitter and also watch my latest videos. So thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there. Please click the subscribe button to be notified for legit jailbreaks, the latest and greatest city of tweak reviews, gameplays, unboxings, giveaways and much more.